This is World Pride Week in Toronto, and today there was an event that truly was global in nature. Dozens of same-sex couples were married in a huge ceremony at Casa Loma. Some came from countries where same-sex marriage is illegal. CTV Scott Lightfoot has more. A lot, of, a lot of days. 4,526 days ago. 12 and a half years ago. Every couple has a story and a reason for getting married here today. I didn't want to plan a wedding, and I love this man, so why not do it in one of the best places in Toronto and pretty much have it all done for you? We really wanted to have a very non-judgmental space where we could get married, and there are people that uh, maybe wouldn't be as supportive as us. Not a concern at Casa Loma, where everyone was supportive. This is, is uh, the best thing that can happen for my son. You know, he's free to be who he is. A wonderful, wonderful man. I just love him in pieces. And now I have another son. <laughs> How good is that, eh? This was a first for this country as 110 same-sex couples tied the knot at the same time. Please repeat after me. Yes, I do. With a range of religious officials presiding over the ceremony. There are no Sikhs being married here today, but history is still being made because this is the first time a Sikh minister has officiated at a same-sex marriage. So welcome, everybody. And now I invite you to kiss each other. For some, it was a chance to renew their vows. It was wonderful. Great commitment. 11 years today. We got married the first day it was legal in Canada. For those taking part who live in this country, the mass wedding ceremony may have been a bit of a novelty, but for those who've come from other countries around the world, the idea of being able to marry their partner legally is something they never thought possible. Canada is a place of welcome, a refuge of sanctuary, where people can be who they are and be their authentic selves. Among them, this couple from Australia. It was far beyond what I expected. Yeah. We've been to a lot of heterosexual weddings and gone, you people are just carrying on too much here. They're not. It's real. It's just extraordinary. Together for 37 years, they now plan to take their marriage certificate back home to help push for marriage rights down under. We can show them, look, if Canada can do it and welcome us as an outsider, as an international, come on Australia. Pretty good Please. vacation, isn't it? It's a very good vacation. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News. All right, let's turn to sports now. Here's Alistair with a look at what he has coming up for us tonight. Alistair?